friends, look around us. There is plenty of energy. TV, lamp, and fan need electricity to run. Mom also needs gas to cook. Cars and motorbikes also require fuel to be able to move. Bicycle also requires energy to be able to move. From where? Of course, from you. Energy generated while pedaling your bicycle can move the bike. When you're eating, you also gain energy which you could use for playing or studying. As you can see, energy is very important to our lives. However, do you know that most of energy that we use today is extracted from fossil fuel, such as coal, oil, and natural gas? Million years ago, even before dinosaurs existed, there were living things on Earth. They absorb sunlight and produce energy through photosynthesis. When they die, their bodies sink to the seabed and still contain energy. Millions of years later, it became source of energy in the form of coal, oil, and natural gas that can be utilized. Unfortunately, the use of fuel from fossil has negative impact to our environment. It pollutes air, water, and soil. It also makes the earth hotter. And the worst is, fossil fuel supplies are limited and will extinct in the future. No more lamp, TV, car, and electronics. Scary, isn't it? Luckily, we now have renewable energy resources. These kinds of energy are available in nature and can be used in a longer period of time. Therefore, we don't need to worry about running out of energy. Let's find out more about these renewable energy resources. Solar energy. Who knew that sunlight that dries clothes can also be used as another energy source? Let's see how it works. First, solar panel absorbs sunlight. The brighter the sunlight is, the more energy that can be absorbed. Then, the solar panel cells convert the heat from the sunlight into electric power. This electric power can be used as source of energy for our electronic equipment. With current technology, electrical power from two whiteboard-sized solar panels could supply power for more than one house. Wind energy Wind, which flies kites, can also be used as an energy resource. Let's see how it works. First, the wind moves the blade on windmills. Same thing happens when you blow on a paper windmill. These blades are connected to gears and speed up the rotation of the blade. The gears are linked to the generator which converts the kinetic energy to electric power. Electrical energy generated from wind power can be used to meet our power needs. Hydro energy Strong water currents of the river can be a source of energy. How does it work? Water steam is an important element to generate hydro energy in the river or lake. Water flow moves water wheel. The water wheel is connected to generator that converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. The electrical energy produced by the wind can be used to meet our power needs. Biomass energy Biomass energy is a kind of energy that comes from living things. There are so many sources of biomass energy, such as animal waste, farming waste, forest litter, and our food waste. How does it work? First, animal waste and disposals are channeled into a container. Inside this container, the waste are decomposed and it produces methane gas during the composition process. This methane gas is stored in a gas storage which is ready to be used as power source, like for cooking or as electricity that is produced from the generator. The remaining waste also can be used as plant fertilizer or fish food. Very useful, isn't it? So, as you can see, 
there are so many renewable power resources around us. If we can use all of them efficiently, we don't have to rely only on fossil energy in the future. Therefore, we may be able to use electricity without damaging the Earth. It's really fun learning about renewable energy resources, isn't it? We need to learn more to find new ways to manage the renewable energy resources for better use in the future. <laughs>